stay my blade from the flesh of the innocent. Hide in plain sight. Never compromise the Assassin Brotherhood. These are the tenets of the Creed. The principles I used to live by. I was a young man then. The Seven Years' War was about to begin. I could not have imagined what the future had in store for me. Nor the cost I would choose to bear. My name is Shay Patrick Cormac. This is my story. Well, you won't like for firewood at least. Admit it. I nearly had you. <laughs> nearly counts for nothing, Shay. And besides, no. That was just luck. <laughs> I make my own luck, Liam. Ah, you've been saying that for years, but you're precious little to show for it. Or have you been spending it all getting out of trouble? Well, you know, trouble just follows me around. Let's head back. Come on. Captain Deliver André and his crew must have run into some trouble. Who knew meeting with smugglers would lead to no good? I still don't understand why you can't tell me what we're doing here. Because Chevalier decided not to tell you. I thought we were friends, Liam. We are. But this is business. It doesn't concern you, Shay. Am I going too fast for you? I'm just keeping an eye on you, in case you fall down and hurt yourself. Hurry. We best not keep Chevalier waiting. Where the hell were you two? We were out hunting. What happened here? My men were attacked by some English sea dogs. Why, Captain Joseph. Couldn't you fight them all off by yourself like you're always saying? It is Capitaine Louis-Joseph Gauthier, Chevalier de la Vérandrie. And you are dreaming if you think any training could make you into a proper assassin. Do you even know what that means? It means being responsible for an ancient and proud tradition. It means obeying your mentor without question. How else will we ensure freedom for the human race? Them's pretty words, Chevalier. But I don't feel too free at the moment. Well then, feel educated! <laughs> I will teach you some manners, boy. I will teach you some manners, boy. I will teach you some manners, boy. Gentlemen, stop! We got a common enemy, and I reckon he's close. The Royal Navy attack my vessel and force my men to flee. We are stranded, and what is worse, the smugglers we were supposed to meet have been taken prisoner. Shay and I are free, those smugglers. You, treat your wounded.
Take these. You'll need them. Tread with care, Shay. The Royal Navy be ready for us. Remember your training. Ready to teach him a lesson? They don't stand a chance. Where are your mates now, you bilge rat? Talk before I bash out your brains! We will find them and let them bury what's left of you. Keep an eye out, lads! The pals are still out there somewhere! There he goes again. Thanks. I thought I'd be hanged. Happy hunting, lads! Let her ablaze! Sink that French vessel! She's no match for you! Ha-ha! <laughs> yeah! We're saving those fellas for you. Very thoughtful. Maybe you were not completely useless, Shay. I'm thinking of useless. Those blockheads won't be needing this vessel anymore. And this pile of mail? You want her, Shay? She is yours. Now bring me back to my ship. You heard, Chevalier? This vessel is yours, Shay. Go on. Take the wheel. Some of the men you rescued agreed to join us. They should prove a good crew. I'm not so certain about their captain, but next to me you are the most experienced sailor in the Brotherhood chain. Besides, we could use another vessel, even this pitiful one. She's mine, ain't she? My own ship. Your own pile of garbage, yes? Ah, with a lick of paint and a few new cannons, she'll look as fine as anything on the Seven Seas. Shall we begin, Captain? Indeed, mate. Oh, God, now. She's a mess, but she's still afloat. And her name's the Morgan. Oh, God. The silly fairy queen who ruined Merlin, the wise. Oh, she's perfect for the shame. The Morgan was an old goddess, the queen of war and darkness. She halves in the souls of fallen warriors. A ship! Perfect indeed. This is full shame. They will sink her! Let's put the Morrigan to the test, Captain Shay. Ready for battle, men! Something! 
this vessel is battle ready after all. I will return to what is left of the Gerfo. It's a long way home. We have repairs to do. Sing hearty, lads. Chevalier is pleased with us. What course would you have me set, Shay? Time to report back to the mentor. Wouldn't you agree? Wise words, Captain. Wise words. What the hell did you do? It's some kind of dormant virus? Shit. Hang on, I'm getting you out of there. Sorry for the rough exit. Your piece working, check. You were just an anonymous. Animus, yes? You were using it to access a genetic memory file in Helix labeled Shea Cormac? You work for Abstergo Entertainment, remember? Any of this ringing a bell? Your session triggered something bad, and it's affecting the whole building. We need to find your boss. You haven't forgotten your boss, have you? Melanie LeMay, zipper, chipper, overachiever? Here, take your communicator, check it if you get lost. Now let's get out of here. Follow me. Double time. This chaos is absolutely your fault, in case you're wondering. Come on, everyone. Just like we practiced in our safety drills. Everything is gonna be okay, guys. Stay positive. Hurry! We gotta get out of here! What the hell is happening? A file labeled Shea Cormac was booby trapped with some kind of virus. Your job is to prevent things like this. We need to contain these genetic memories, then we can destroy them. No. Isolate them. I want to study these memories. But... With respect, Miss LeMay, this is not a request. You heard the man. Fine. I need to borrow your numbskull. That okay with you, Miss LeMay? Hey there, this might seem a bit weird, but you're gonna work for contractors we hire to, you know, upgrade our security. Mr. Otto Berg and Ms. Violet DaCosta. Call me Violet. I have to go check on our people and prepare a statement for the press. Do whatever they tell you to do, okay? Go team! Technically, you're not responsible for this, but you're the one who let the virus out. So I think it's only fair you help me clean it up. Mr. Berg wants us to relive Shay's genetic memories. To do that, we need to access them from Helix. But the Helix is down. We'll have to reboot the main servers in the basement. Man, whoever designed this virus is a genius. Not only does it restrict our access to the cloud, it's adapted to fuck up the other operating systems that regulate building functions. Melanie? The elevators are out of commission. Are we stuck on this floor? Get a repair crew on site ASAP. There's a working area server on this floor. I guess it'll have to do for now. Agent DaCosta, I want regular updates on your progress with Shay's genetic memories. Why? He's just a nobody as far as I can tell. If Shay Cormac is who I suspect he is, then this temporary setback may provide us with an unexpected reward. Proceed to the server room on this floor.
dogs at home that are better trained than you are. Do you see a flashing? Once you restore the server, I'll connect your Animus workstation back to Helix. In theory, if you align the beams to segments of the core, it should solve the problem. But here's where it gets tricky. You have to move the circles in such a way that each segment is powered by a beam. The keyword here is each. One beam and one beam only per core segment, okay? Once everything is lit up properly, the system will reboot. Got it? Give it a shot. Assassins would have you believe that Al Mualim was a great mentor who became corrupted with greed, and that he schemed with the Templars to acquire an apple of Eden. I see instead a shrewd and cunning leader, a man who used his best assassin, Al Ta'ir ibn Lahad, to eliminate his conspirators in order to keep the apple for himself, so that he could use it to enforce world peace. While it must be stated unequivocally that Al Mualim was not a Templar. It is interesting to me that his vision of peace was more in line with Templar philosophy than Assassin. In the past, both sides had the same goal, that of peace. Our only difference was how we chose to achieve it. Had al Mualim not been killed by Altair and allowed to carry out his plan, perhaps we would not be fighting now. It was only after Altair reformed the Brotherhood with its new ideals of free will that the conflict truly escalated and spread across the planet. For if the so-called wise man of the mountain can see things from our point of view, surely the same can be said for other assassins. <laughs> it has been a long time. Achilles! Adewale, how go things in the West Indies? Very poorly, I'm afraid. Your countenance tells me we should discuss this. Come. Who's our visitor? That's Adewale. He was a slave who freed himself, and hundreds of his brothers in the West Indies. That man's a living incarnation of the Creed. I see. You join me for some practice? Soon. I've got uh, other business first.
Tell me what happened. It was terrible, Achilles. The ground shook, and the ocean waves crashed over port of France. How many were lost? Thousands. No family was left untouched. I hate to bring up practical matters at a time like this. But did my end You are late. Oh, what did I miss? Only the first hour of training. We're always training, Kasegawase, and we'll continue to do so. Do not waste your words. Shea abhors improvement as much as cats abhor leashes. Hey. A pity. The boy has so much potential. But so little discipline. All right. All right. What would you have me do? Well played. So, what's the challenge today? Shooting straight and true. Here, you can use these. These are yours. Well, I want you to have half a chance of succeeding. Go on. Shoot these targets. Take your time, but not too much. There's more work after this. Reload. Anyone can hit targets standing still. Let's see how you do on the run. Come on, hurry up. Come on, hurry up! Well done, Shay. Keep it up. You're doing all right, Shay. But don't let the others vex you. They mean well, but they'll never show it. It's about time you showed up. Far be it for me to keep a lady waiting. I'm no lady here. And don't you forget it. I'm your teacher, and you're better. Well, some of that is true, at least. What will we be doing? Exploring a myriad ways to end a life. You two! Make yourselves useful and watch Shay. Can you kill without being noticed? I'm surprised. Top form, Shay. Attack from around a corner, and your target will never know what hit him. You certainly know how to handle yourself. Stay low and stick to the brush. Be patient and you might hit your target. Hmm? You did better than I expected. Have your skills actually grown, Shay? <laughs> Do not get a swelled head over it. Shay, follow me. It's time you learn to survive in the frontier. I think I've been managing well enough so far. Perhaps. But there is more I can teach you. 
Climb back up. I am waiting. It's time for the hunt. Use all your senses together to find prey. Killing should not be meaningless. Must use what nature gives us. Good. Now to you. Nature. With these, you can keep your pistols close. Achilles has one more thing to show you. Farewell for now. Say, I hear you've become quite the marksman. Generous gift. Thank you, mentor. My ship awaits, Achilles. The people of Haiti will make good use of your supplies. I trust you will retrieve what has been lost. Lost? The Templars stole two precious artifacts. A manuscript of ancient wisdom and a box that allows one to understand its language. I have tracked the Templar as far as its coast. But I fear the rest is up to you, my friend. Farewell, Adiwale. Whoever controls the artifacts... ...can access precursor sites of power. We must recover them... ...or none are safe. Where to? Wherever Templar affairs lead us. Liam, it's not like you to set out without a plan. Plan or no plan, we choose our own battlefield. And hey, we're not most at ease when we're at sea. Right you are. Let's set sail.
loose all and trim sharp to the wind. We only have one lead, Shane. Let's hope it brings us closer to the artifacts. So Achilles tasked you with this mission? No. He tasked me to task you. We need to find what was stolen from... No, Shay. You have to recover the precursor box of manuscript. This is your mission. And what's yours? To watch your arse. Achilles doesn't really trust me, does he? Give it time, Shay. Do this for him. For us. Do much more than earn his trust. Liam, do you know what Achilles writes about? I see him in his office all the time, bent over his papers. He keeps records and accounts. Studies what little is known about the pieces of Eden. And of course, he corresponds with assassins on other continents. Of course? Liam, you could be a right horse's arse when it comes to assuming everyone knows the same as you. I cannot help if Achilles wants me to be familiar with our counterparts in Europe and elsewhere. Said like his favorite son. Connor's his favorite and only son. Then Achilles is there. Connor may inherit the house, but you'll be mentor. We'll see. Whatever you say, Prince Regent of the Assassins. You call me that again. I'll throw you in the ocean. me flippers to keep warm. With the South Cone hoisted as a warning To stand by the coming of a storm A paddy lay back Take in your slack Take a turn around the captain he will fall Our boat ship station boys be handy We're bound for about for rise around the hall Well I woke up in the morning stiff and sore boys and I knew that I was outward bound again. Bound again. And the voice came a bawling at the door, boys. The afternoon and answer to your name. The gallops and boys. Paddy lay back. Down's the mizzen tops. They can turn around your captain, he will fall. Blue souls, let's move. Boys be handy. We're off, lads. We're Where's the rock? We're off for eyes around the hall. Was on the quarter deck. That's the, the rise the tops. Such an old <laughs> Trust me, you will sell those lobster by the tongue in France. Cabbage farmers return. About time. We have a lead on that curious manuscript. I'd be surprised if you can read it. No one can read it, imbecile. This is why the Templar are taking so long with it. But one of our ally has caught a glimpse of their work. A pirate? A spy who worked with the pirate. We set sail for Anticosti. That should prove a good test for this floating cesspit you call a ship. How trustworthy are the pirates? I consider them brothers, Shay. When the time comes, they will end aid and help us fight the Templars. If only the roast beef would realize the Templars were pulling their strings. Are the Templars truly in control in the colonies? Not quite, but their influence reaches far and wide. And what about the spy we're meeting? You need not worry about Le Chasseur. He is loyal to the Brotherhood. As it happens, he also has friends in both the French and English fleets. And he knows more about what goes on in these parts than you can ever hope to learn. So, Liam, what can you tell me about Adewale? You obviously admire the man. I had the honor of working with him once. I've never known anyone who'd done so much for our cause. It's much more than that. Adewale was already a legend before joining the Brotherhood. He was a pirate, the scourge of the West Indies, rubbing elbows with the likes of Blackbeard, Woods Rogers, and Calico Jack Rackham. Calico who? Oh, read a book, will you? About 20 years ago, Adewali intercepted a Templar convoy and stole a mysterious package. He traveled to Porto Prince and entrusted it to a woman he believed was loyal to our cause. Let me guess. She wasn't. 
Uh, she was, very much so. The package eventually found its way to Francois Macanda, mentor of the Haitian Brotherhood. An English vessel, and she looks to be in trouble. That's fine indeed. Perhaps we should aid her journey to the bottom of the sea. Now let's not be too hasty. She's full of crown cargo. Take a look through your spyglass and see for yourself. Pretty sight. I say this is a good day to light a few gorgeous ones. Careful. A few shots should be enough to cripple her. Too much damage up she's gone down with all sorts. And all spoils. Now's the time, let's power her! Men. Spires are ours, for the more again! Captain, hold your fire! Don't want to sink her! The sea between here and Anticosti is rough, Captain. We should strengthen the Morgan before going any further. There's a harbour master station nearby. We can spend our new wealth on improvements. Oh, I didn't realize there was a brotherhood in Haiti. Yes. Francois Macandal is their mentor. He gathers many of his assassins from the ruins. Those are escaped slaves and their children, right? They are. A shame, though. He escaped terrible conditions only to be killed in that earthquake. But... Haiti's a French colony now. Aye, oh, it is. And here, the assassins are helping King Lou. But in Haiti, the French own the slaves who are set free by the assassins. Our struggle is beyond political borders, Shay. Anticosti shouldn't be far. Keep us on course, Captain. Ah!
enough cargo to approve the ship, Captain. Get the maids free! Is this the place? I see nothing but fishermen and their gear. Aye, per se and fishing go hand in hand. But it will serve our purposes well enough. The French fish these waters first, but King George is laying claim to more every year. The locals are caught in the middle. Rapid hooks away! Loose and trip too. For sail, all sail. New sail. Without all she'll take. Cargo, cast the grip, Captain. Be far now, Captain. Reef it on tops! Mainmast! Bring in top halyards! Pull! Get them aloft! Dance on sail! with an empty purse won't get you very far. A bit of business, that.
Tranquille, pas. We should resume course to Anticosti, Captain. Indeed. The chasseur is waiting for us. The sea between here and Anticosti is rough, Captain. The Morrigan seems sturdy enough for the challenge. Stunts out! Let's get moving! The ship's ahoy! More fishermen from Perse. They're sinking the fishing boats. You must believe those fishermen strayed into their waters. These cowards must pay. And would you look at that? Standing right in our way to Antipasti. What say you? You sink every last one of them? For once, I find myself agreeing with you, Shay. Stranger things have happened. Caesar. Salt hair, open skies, a man out on the ocean is as free as a man can be. What do you say, Liam? We're out here for a reason, Shay. Mind your duty. And what's the point of freedom if you cannot breathe deep and enjoy it? The temperance stick to this continent like tar. Don't feel liberated until we pry them off. Seems to me we should just talk to them like men instead of skulking around. And would you smile and wish them a good day as they lay their boat on your neck? There it is. Anticosti. The chasseur should be there. And with any luck, he will know where to find that manuscript. That storm could be dangerous. Stop the ship here, Captain. We've arrived at Anticosti Island. Captain, has some help! Go on ahead, Shay. We will meet you at the fort. Take a look at this. 
I borrowed these plans from a Royal Navy ship of the line. They are like nothing I have ever seen. Good. We could use some more powerful weapons. Vershasar, allow me to present our associate, Shea Cormac. Gentlemen, I have news. On this same ship, I spied the manuscript you seek. It was written in an exotic language I did not recognize and was full of drawings, plants, and animals out of an opium dream. But were there no charts? No, no, no maps? No. There may have been some kind of code, but neither I nor the roast beefs could ken it. Where is the manuscript now? The man who brought it said a man named Washington sent him. I know that name. He's an important Templar, isn't he? He is. Lawrence Washington has great ambitions that Templars have helped fulfill. Shay, let's return and find him. You, sir, have our thanks. Get the maid says it to the wind. Loose down! Catch some wind! Loose all! Let's move!
Templars desire to understand the nature of these artifacts. Their spies have called upon many doctors and other learned people in New York. They have also approached many tribes with questions. Yeah, they've been showing that manuscript far and wide. No one can read the strange writing or understand the images. We do have a name, though. We learned that Lawrence Washington sent out the manuscript. Lawrence Washington. Businessman, Virginian politician, and high-ranking Templar. Oh, yes. I recently heard he was back from the West Indies. One of my men saw his major domo pick up a strange package. Then that package will be delivered to him promptly. Shay, figure out what it is and find Washington. And when you do, learn all you can. I'll prepare the Morrigan. Well, if we've any luck, that ship will lead us right to him. I make my own luck, Liam. And Washington is running out of his. These waters are full of enemies. Aye. There she is. All right, man. Time to be quiet. Lawrence Washington is a powerful businessman, a slave owner, and a leading Templar. We lost track of him about a year ago. I recently learned he was in Barbados, but I haven't been able to confirm that. Now. Now you think he had something to do with the theft of the artifacts, don't you? I wouldn't put it past him. Haiti's a short voyage from Barbados, and his return to the colony certainly coincides with the arrival of the artifacts. We cannot let the Templars get control of these colonies. Whatever happens, Lawrence Washington must not survive. I'll make sure he doesn't. Crowd it all on! Brief the topsails and gallants! Blew the foremains! Aye. There she is. All right, man. Time to be quiet. Lawrence Washington is a powerful businessman, slave owner, and a leading Templar. We lost track of him about a year ago. I recently learned he was in Barbados, but I haven't been able to confirm that. Now. Now you think he had something to do with the theft of the artifacts, don't you? I wouldn't put it past him. Haiti's a short voyage from Barbados, and his return to the colony certainly coincides with the arrival of the artifacts. We cannot let the Templars get control of these colonies. Whatever happens, Lawrence Washington must not survive. I'll make sure he doesn't. We're clear, Captain. Incoming ship! Blues up! Break off! These are sticks! Aye. There she is. All right, All man. Time to be quiet. Lawrence Washington is a powerful businessman, a slave owner, and a leading Templar. We lost track of him about a year ago. 
and I recently learned he was in Barbados. But I haven't been able to confirm that. Now. Now you think he had something to do with the theft of the artifacts, don't you? I wouldn't put it past him. Haiti's a short voyage from Barbados, and his return to the colony certainly coincides with the arrival of the artifacts. We cannot let the Templars get control of these colonies. Whatever happens, Lawrence Washington must not survive. I'll make sure he doesn't. Blockade, Captain! But this won't do. Shay, you must follow that ship on land. I'll do that. Bring the Morrigan around another way. Aye, Captain. Track that package and find Washington. Brief it on, Tops! Sub blockade. <laughs> and remember what I said, Shay. Washington must die. I'm saying is that lining up like we do to fire muskets will leave us vulnerable. all in no more of this disobedient nonsense.
Hold a moment. I'll enjoy this. I stop. Hey, come back! Are you fearing us? God, the bastard's running. Come back here and face us like a man. Oh, no, you don't. Come back. What's this? A rifle. You there! Stay! Where? You are. What can that be? It makes no sound. Thanks for the present, Master Washington. This is a strange surprise. Not quite what I was expecting. Now I must find Washington and interrogate him. Splendid party, wouldn't you say? Indeed. Master Washington has outdone himself. He has been looking rather pale, though. And his cough is worse than ever.
expecting trouble tonight. I need to get to Washington first. Then I'll worry about the artifacts. Brother, are you sure you shouldn't be in bed? I am fine, George. Be a good host for my sake. Go to the wine cellar and get something special for our guests. I will. Gentlemen. <coughs> my brother is a bright spot in a troubled land. If I may make one request before I depart this life, please leave him in peace. He should have nothing to do with the troubles of the Templar cults. We all respect that sentiment, sir. You have my thanks, gentlemen. Master Smith, are you ready to leave on your voyage? Aye, sir. I shall return with answers. Master Wardrop, are you likewise engaged with the manuscript? Yes, sir. We will soon know its meaning. Then I bid you take your leave. <laughs> Washington can barely stand on his own two feet. Better be right about him, Liam. Because I'm about to murder a dying man. Barely stand on his own two feet. Better be right about him. Because I'm about to murder a dying man. George is quite the wrong fella, isn't he?
Barely stand on his own two feet. Better be right about him, Liam. Because I'm about to murder a dying man. Barely stand on his own two feet. Better be right about him, Liam. Because I'm about to murder a dying man. Dancing in a posh cafe in Paris.
Too late, assassin. It's never too late to ruin Templar plans, Master Washington. <coughs> but my plans are already in motion. Even leading you here <coughs> has given my allies time to escape. <coughs> Thank you for making my end a quick one. And thank you for revealing your master plan, you scheming snake. Damn it. Better hurry. Liam, I hope you brought the ship around. Is that a ship, Mortar? That's not sported! Captain, look, the gods out! That's it! Yeah. Yeah. 
Lawrence Washington is dead. He looked disappointed. The sickly way that man looked, he would have been dead in a month anyway. The two other Templars got away. They're looking into the manuscript and box. Did they have the artifacts? I don't know. Perhaps. I can't be sure. Then you did what was right by the Brotherhood. You'll find the object later. Cheer up, Shane. It's a rare day we can sow such chaos among the Templars. Perhaps. But to hear Washington speak, it didn't sound like they'd be too put out by the loss. Well, that's what he'd want you to think. The memory appears to be fragmented. How much time has passed? A few months, I think. That virus is cutting off our access to complete memories. The readable, but messy. The Seven Years' War will soon break out in the colonies. Focus on assassin interference. We'll do our best. Won't we, numbskull? It's so grim about the homestead now that Miss Abigail and little Connor have passed. Aye. I've seen Achilles crying. Why shouldn't he? It's just that, he doesn't look sad. He looks furious. It's unsettling. He's struggling with the loss. We all are. I know, but it's been months. And we've done little but search for this blasted manuscript and box. Le Chasseur has a lead on the box. We need him and Chevalier in St. John's. Chevalier too? No hope of cheering me up then. When Achilles said whoever had the artifacts could access sites of great power, what does he mean? I'm not sure I understand it myself, Shane. I had a long talk with Adam Wally about that. He believes the box can be activated to well, project words or images. Like a magic lantern. What do you mean? You know the magic lantern shows Father Connolly put on in the church basement? The box had a candle in it, I think. He put these little glass plates in front. Then we'd see the images projected on the wall like cathedrals in Rome. Quite a near as big as life. Ah, yeah. I suppose it is. Except that it interprets the strange language of the manuscript too. On the paper of a banner in Latin. You'd see it in English. How is that possible? Who knows? we might never truly understand how any of the pieces of Eden work. Where in the world has the most beautiful girls? I suppose it depends on your vision of beauty. A damsel from Corfu and one from Oslo are as different as chalk and cheese, but both can be lovely.
Set the main street! See, opinions like that give a man a reputation for wisdom. Yeah, thank you. I would have just said Havana. The girls there have lusty buttocks and bosoms and feel no shame in putting them on display. But that's no slight against our lasses from home. I suppose. I think Galway has the nicest ones. Fair and modest. Always willing to spot you a penny for an ale. You don't say. And then there's the maids I met in Lisbon. Destined for the convent they were. Dark-eyed and kindly dispositioned. If only I'd spoke Portuguese. Not that we spent much of our nights talking. Opinions like that give a man an entirely different reputation. Says she, yet I'm cute sailor. Now see me how you may. But when we reach the cottage door, she unto me did say, and it's the way you said me, my dear Annie. Oh, you do your girls catch you dance the poker. My flashman, he's a Yankee, with his hair cut short behind. He wears a pair of long sea boots, he's a boarded in the back four line, and it's the way you said me, my
Brace for impact! Loose made sails! So grim about the homestead now that Miss Abigail and little Connor have passed. Aye, I've seen Achilles crying. Why shouldn't he? It's just that he doesn't look sad. He looks furious. It's unsettling. He's struggling with the loss. We all are. I know, but it's been months, and we've done little but search for this blasted manuscript and box. Le Chasseur has a lead on the box. To meet him and Chevalier in St. John's. Chevalier too? No hope of cheering me up then. When Achilles said whoever had the artifacts could access sites of great power, what does he mean? I'm not sure I understand it myself, Shay. I had a long talk with Adam Wally about that. He believes the box can be activated to project words. Or images. Like a magic lantern. What do you mean? We're almost there, Captain. Le Chasseur will be expecting us. And Chevalier. And a small price to pay for a lead in the precursor box. Close down! Catch some wood! New sail! Put out all she'll take! Chevalier, what happened to your vessel? I got myself into a bit of a scrape. Sent three ships in all hand to their watery grave. The Giafou nearly followed them down. Just your fate has been better, Le Chasseur. Indeed. My sources inform me that Samuel Smith has searched far and wide, looking for answers on how to make that strange box work. He just returned from Europe. Where is he now? 
Refitting his schooner. If you hurry, you can catch him there. Oh, remember those blueprints? Well, I had an engineer build that marvelous weapon for your ship. Master Pucker's gun fires more shots than an artillery brigade, and twice as fast. Many thanks. Anything for my wooded friends. Captain? I will join you on this voyage. My gratitude. Godspeed. Sir, how fare ye? Ah, well, good day.
mood, shall we, gentlemen? You are in a jovial mood, Shay. Why shouldn't I be? I have a new weapon, and will soon have a chance to use it. Besides, Templars are usually well guarded, and I'm sure that Smith fellow is no exception. I also took the liberty of ordering some improvements. The Morgan now has a ram that can cut through ice itself. I have heard of such technology, but never witnessed its operation. What about Smith, then? Is he close by? Aye, he sails these very waters. There he, he is! Have Most fortunate timing! Lady Luck never ceases to smile on you. He's seen us! Give chase! But hold your fire! We must not damage the box or risk losing it to the sea. Can't this bucket go any faster? At least my ship is still seaworthy, Chevalier. Samuel Smith is the Templar's treasure. What he's doing in these waters is beyond me. Maybe he came here to meet someone. Or ran into your pirates. He's refitting his ship. Something must have happened. If one of my allies attacked him, I would have known about it. Well, he's back from a long voyage. Came out of the way. Washington entrusted the precursor box to him. He probably still has it. Shape like box comes first. We can't sink him. We'll have to board his ship or force him to beach. Cutting through the ice. It seems you are not the only one equipped with such a ram, Shay. Let us hope ours fares just as well. For your fortune wounds. But do not waste time congratulating yourself. Smith is getting away. Careful. These waters are full. It's an ambush. Smith must not escape. I don't see Smith's ship! Let's get rid of these distractions first. We'll find them. He's moving again. No doubt he hoped to be a spectator of your demise. 
I'm glad to disappoint him. And he's still within reach. All sails loose! Some sort of cargo there, sir. What wickedness is this? Another Templar tactic. They can cover whole stretches of ocean with their flames. Careful, Shay. We could be burnt to cinders.